All right, Bob. And viewers, watch this if you want fast relief for neck and upper trap pain, plus learn the precautions that you, can, you need to know to avoid potential problems. It's all guaranteed. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, neck and upper trap. In other words, these muscles right up here, commonly very common from poor posture, which so many people have, including us. Yeah, at the computer, you drift into it. You try to fight it, but what it the drops. hell are you doing with your hands like that? I'm typing. Oh, he's typing, or the cell phone, or driving. It's all the same thing, right. uh, Bob. But I did want to mention one thing: the last technique is the easiest one, and the uh, one you want to wait around for if you want the easiest one. What a uh, uh, coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, precautions. Just like the title said, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, I apologize. I said the H word. It's a family show. Right. Uh, Bob, I apologize. And Slap you. Viewers. Uh, but anyways, there is a couple legitimate precautions when you're working with massage right. on your neck. Bob, you want to talk about One, the, you want to stay away from the carotid arteries. Yep. And the reason that is, there's a sinus in there. Right. And if you put pressure on that, it actually could decrease your blood pressure and heart rate. And it could cause you to faint. Yeah, get dizzy. Now, yeah. actually, they used to use that, I guess, be in surgeries, like back in the Civil War. They, they would put, put people on? Yeah, they put pressure wow. on there. That's what I learned in PT school. I don't know if it's actually true, but anyways, uh, the next one, this is kind of important as well. If you have a massage gun that reciprocates and gets deep right. like many of them do and all of ours do, they work really well on muscles, but do no. not use them on your neck. There's too much bony surfaces there. Yep. It'll hit that spine. You could actually throw I mean, your neck out. It'll rattle you. Yeah. I mean, it'll rattle your noggin for right. sure. If you want to use it in the upper traps... That's okay, but that's acceptable. When you get up in this area, you got to draw the line hard right there and stay away no. from it. No, 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 no. All Bad. Right. Okay, Bob, we've got five options. Right. Uh, you don't have to do them all. You'll pick out whatever you like. What works for you? And usually you can calm it down in f probably less than five minutes. I put five minutes on the title. That's being conservative. Right. It's probably going to take less. Very so good. The first one we're going to use. The hands. The old manual massage, which uh, most people have available to them. Bob is going to show it from the front. I'll show it from the back. Uh, shake out the hands a little bit. Prepare. And we're going to work on the muscles. Bob, should we do the circular one sure. first? So you're just going to make circular motion deep into those muscles. And you actually want to get all the way up to where the bone starts, the suboccipital region. Right well, along the skull line. Yep. The old skull pan is what I've heard it called right. in some uh, mm, rustic manner. So how'd you like that? Cool. Cool. Okay. <laughs> and you work down. And you work both, both directions, clockwise right. or counterclockwise. Do what feels best. Now, it does not work good when you have a microphone on. So right. Yeah, I would avoid that at home. And then you can do splain. Yep. Right, Brad? Yep. You can put your fingertips together mm. and pull them apart. This feels much better than together, you would anticipate. Pull them apart. Yeah. Oh, especially up by that. I'm sub and finally, the oh. last one, Brad, I like grabbing onto my traps yep. with my fingertips and sliding my hand forward. Yeah. While I'm breaking my head back. Yeah, a little at extension. The same time. Now, I like to go directly on the skin. You can see like you can get a hold of the right. skin, get a better stretch. Absolutely. All right. Next up, sorry. No. The second option is if you have a Theracane or if you have a regular cane or a cane that has a hook on the end works by far the best. We don't have one. Right. We just have a regular cane here. Yeah, with the pistol grip right. kind of a thing. But so, you can use, there's a lot of them. Ones that are called Theracane and called, uh, I think, Buddy, something like that. Buddy, Buddy or Thera something Buddy. like that. Yeah, they, they look like this. Yeah, they look like And good. you can get them, you know, online easy. But you'll find the not usually, but you work with this. Once you find that trigger point, the tender spot, you put it on there and hold pressure for 20 to 30 seconds. 
until it releases. I like to move when this is in place too. I ah. do some extension and maybe side bending. You know, that kind of reminds me of preference. the, uh, what do you call that, threading or the? Flossing. Flossing, yeah. Right. This does not work really good up into the neck. It kind of no. does, mostly on the upper traps, lower neck. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> All right, the next one. We might wrap number three and four together. We'll sure. see how it goes. But if you have a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, uh, we're going to show what you can do lying down. This you need to do on a hard floor or a carpeted floor, not in bed. Now, Bob just put it right under my trap. Yep, and this is more for the low neck upper trap area. While it's in that position, you can actually take your hands and put them under your neck. And bend back Ooh, like this, yep. or you could go like this, or you could roll on it. Yep. Yes. And try different spots. Exactly. I got the, uh, the opposite side now. There you go. And Brad, you could go ahead and do it with a yeah. sock, right? Yeah. If you take a sock and you drop your tennis ball or lacrosse ball down into the bottom of the sock, you can do this very nicely up against the wall. The reason you have the sock is so the tennis ball is controlled and it doesn't fall to the floor. You can do it without the sock, but you'll see what happens. There, I, I can get it here. And again, low neck, upper trap. I'm not going to get up into my upper neck very easily at all. That's good for somebody who can't really tolerate line yet on yep. the... The ball. The nice thing about it, it's easy to roll. And that right. actually feels really nice too when you get that roll up in there. And you find that spot, you can just push on it and hold it. Oh, yeah. All right. I better, we better cut now, before I get. For a device. Oh. For a device that's a little more pricey, but it does work really well. Mm. I use it every day, is the back pod, right? Y yes. So you're going to go ahead and the same thing. It's not going to move on. Yeah, you just put it in place, and again, you can put your arms like this. You go like this. You can move a little bit on it. Yeah, I really like that moving with that yeah. back pod. Really gives it some good counter pressure, and helps really stretch your back out. For many of you, it'll be too much to start. You might yeah. have to put a towel or a pillow underneath your head. I wanted to mention, you can try that technique with a softball. It's pretty aggressive. Right. Uh, and you, you're going to have to have some muscle to e make it work. Eventually, you could do, work up to that. Yeah. Or you can put a towel over the top, a folded up towel to help right. uh, if you don't have this. I've used both. This definitely works better. But this works, and it gives you an option, uh, and it's a lot cheaper. All right. And finally, but not leastly, is uh, the... We'll stop. Oh, yeah. finally, we're going to get to the one that Brad's been hyping so much. Yeah. And there's reason for it, Bob. Uh, actually, we're very happy with this uh, back massager. It's easy. You don't have to do any manual work, and they work very well. It does have to plug. You do have to plug it in. Yeah, it does have a cord. You do need to plug it into a, your outlet. Uh, so get yourself in a comfortable chair. Actually, a recliner works good, I have found. Sure. And the nodules on there rotate, plus they heat up if you want them to. And you'll just work with it here. And I had a, my daughter was home for a weekend and she slept wrong she came up with a terrible neck ache and she used this and boy she took it home and she, she did. yeah she did and it got rid of that neck i could not i had a hard time getting it out with some of my other tricks but you can also use it down onto your mid back and to your lower back sure and a bonus Legs. yes i found it works great to put it on my hamstrings while I'm in a recliner, just sit there, read a book, watch TV, down into the calf. So uh, it's a little misnomer. It's more than just a neck massager. It does the whole backside of your body pretty much. Yeah. But it's a it's a sweet deal. And uh, The hands provide the counter pressure so you can actually get a little yeah. and you can adjust deep down that. into the muscles. Yeah, right. You just grab this here and uh, you pull on it like this. Really easy. Yeah, real easy. It just happens that I jammed it all the way up into the one position. All this right. is the part we're going to cut out on there for the thumbnail. Well, Bob, in conclusion, we've got a five-minute backsage. I feel of, better. Yeah, you feel better. I feel right. better. We've got everything from balls to pods to guns to things that wrap around. Now, if it only help us look better. To your fingers. Yeah, no, nothing's going to help with that, Bob. Right. We are stuck with ugliness. <laughs>